pink. Hello, my darling people. It is time for back to school. And this makes me very happy. Not because I enjoy school, but because back to school shopping is one of the most amazing things on the planet. School supplies. <sighs> I I love new school supplies so much. It's it's almost worth going back to school for, and I don't even mind school that much, so I mean, it's kind of a win-win situation here. So, <laughs> let's see if we can get this video to... You know what? Let's pick a really out there goal. Um, what? How far do you think I can push you guys? We're gonna go for 30 likes. Let's see if we can get this video to 30 likes because school supplies are amazing. So like this video if you like school supplies or back to school shopping or just back to school if you like school. Like this video if you don't like school. Just like this video. Let's see if we can get it to 30 likes. I do still have one more summer video coming up so don't freak out if you don't go back until like late September, but I do go back in August, so I do need to be like shopping for school supplies and getting stuff ready. So early August. I go back really soon. It's like in a week. I don't want to go back to school yet. I mean, I love school, but did those words really just come out of my mouth? I do kind of enjoy school. It's like, it's a love-hate relationship. Like, I don't know hard to describe. But anyway, today I am doing a what's in my backpack haul and this makes me so happy. I get to show off all of my new school supplies and I know I'm not trying to brag but I I really love so school supplies so much and I am so proud of some of the stuff I found. It's so cute and I love it. So I, I'm gonna stop talking about it and just go straight into the video. So, you've probably seen this by now because it's been sitting like right here, but this is my backpack and I kind of love like this tribal print thing on it. It's super cute. I like it a lot when you're trying to come up with things to say and you just like, I like it a lot. Wait, do I want to start with the front pocket or the main pocket? Let's start with the front pocket. Okay, so in the front pocket, I have a thing of um, correction tape or white out, whatever you want to call it, because I kind of have a thing against using pencil because it always like bleeds over to the other side of the page like when you write on it and so I use pen unless absolutely necessary, like pencil is absolutely necessary and you can't really erase pen except I found erasable pens and what is this? I did not know these existed. Um, in case I'm not using the cool erasable pens, whiteout is really, really useful. So I just got a little thing of that and I couldn't, they only had blue which made me really disappointed because this isn't a shade of blue that I'm particularly fond of but it's white out. It works. And then also in the front pocket we have these little post-it flags and they're super cute and colorful and I will probably go through all of these by the end of the school year because I love post-its way too much. And then we have like the second biggest pocket which is the one right after the front pocket and I just have a pack of plain white index cards because for whatever reason I don't use index cards that much like they were super cheap so I thought I'd get another thing but I still have like 400 from last year that I didn't use so in hindsight that was probably a really bad waste of money but I mean maybe I'll use them this year and biology biology is probably like the hardest class I'm taking this year so yeah, 100 index cards. And then I found this cute super, super planner. <laughs> I found this cute student planner and it's kind of an alternative to bullet journaling for people who are too lazy to bullet journal. journal. I tried to, well like, cause they have like, they have the entire month and then they have like these little, it's like, this is like the whole month of August on like a two page spread and then they have like the individual days and so I thought that would be super useful because I tried bullet journaling and it kind of helped for like the couple of days that I did it but I was too lazy to go through and make all of the fancy designs so yeah it just art and me do not go along well when the art is a requirement <laughs> I don't even like to do art when it's not required so yeah 
student planner. Hopefully I use this. But it is cute. I love this shade of blue. So then, in the main pocket... Oh my, there's a lot of stuff in here. I forgot how much. Okay, so we have this pencil case that I found, and it's super cute. And it's not like the cutest pencil case that I've ever found, but it's not bad. And it has like, it's just really nice colors, and I like it. And they're like these two little binder thingies, so you can put it in your binder, except I don't have binders because I don't like binders. Loose leaf paper makes me nervous. And then these are these... Everything else I was waiting to open because I knew I was going to do this haul and so I forced myself to wait to open it and these pens claimed to be erasable and I could not resist so I opened them and I scribbled with them and I erased them and it was like the coolest thing on the planet. So these are not packaged, these are already in this pencil case thing. Basically as soon as I finish this video I'm going to unpackage it all and like rip it all apart and put everything in its proper place because I love organizing stuff. I hate cleaning stuff, but I love organizing stuff. So, yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> but I couldn't wait on these. And they, they really do work pretty well. Like, there's usually a couple of smudges of ink left, but, like, they erase. Like, ugh, that should not be a thing. Let's do these next. I found this cute little pack of mechanical pencils. And I was going to get just, like, the... Um, little package of like the not so great mechanical pencils because I don't really care that much about my pencils. I had like a coupon for $20 off or no not $20 off like it was like one of those coupons that like you get a certain amount off if you spend a certain amount and I was under that certain amount and I'm like you know what I get everything for free if I spend this anyway so I may as well just get these. So I got the nicer ones and they actually do look really nice. I I'm really excited to use these actually, despite the fact that they're pencils and I hate pencils. I found these highlighters and these were not one of the cheaper packs, but I got them anyway because they had an extra yellow highlighter and I've been seeing that like life hack where you turn your rainbows or your rainbows highlighter, your highlighters rainbow by like pressing them against each other and I didn't have a yellow highlighter to do it with that I was willing to spare. So I saw that there was an extra yellow highlighter in this pack and I couldn't resist and so yeah, I got highlighters. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to get highlighters, because I don't use them that much, but I don't know. They're pretty. And I do like using them on writing pieces. Like, I turn write or essays and stuff into coloring pages. It's kind of bad, but highlighters. I love how I'm spending, like, forever talking about all of this stuff. You don't need to know all of this. I found these super cute multicolored ink pens, and I love them, and I love pens as I've mentioned multiple times now, I'm sure. But they have like green and pink, wait, they have green and pink and purple and blue, and they look super cute and super comfortable, and I can't wait to use them. Ugh, my nose edges so much. Ah, oh, I love pens, guys, so much. Pens are the way to go. Forget pencils unless you have to do like a standardized test or something. You know what, I'm opening these right now because I haven't opened them yet and I really wanna open them, so I'm opening them. Oh, pens. Okay, um, what can I test this? Ooh, packaging. I love these. I'm using these for every assignment I'm allowed to. And let's open up the mechanical pencils while we're here, because why not? I'm so bad at opening packages. It's not even funny. These are so cute. I feel like these would write super comfortably. Like, they have a really nice grip on them. Yep, they write. I'm going to open the highlighters, too, because I'm going nuts. I'm sorry guys, you have no idea how excited I was to open this and then I had to wait for the video and I'm like, no, this is not okay. So the fact that I'm opening this right now makes me really happy. I'm not even going to bother with like trying those, I'm just going to stuff them in this pencil pouch and it makes me happy. Look at this guys, I have stuff in this pouch. It looks super cute, I love it. All of my trash goes onto the floor for me to deal with later. Wow, that's scattered. So next we have... Scented markers, which sounds like a really bad idea on the part of the manufacturer, but I love stuff that smells good, so I saw these and I was trying really, really hard to resist because I never use markers, but they're scented 
and I couldn't do it. So I will find a use for these. Like even if I'm just like doodling in the margins of every notebook I have, I will use them. Oof. Yeah, let's do the notebooks next. So I got six notebooks and I did this one, this one, and this one. So I have like two blue and a purple one. I got six, but I only have like four classes that I'll need notebooks for. Three or four. I'm not sure yet. Possibly three. So I'm only doing like three that are super cute. But I figured I'd get extra and then if I needed them next year I could use them because I love the binding on this. It's like it's basically a cross between a spiral bound and a composition book and it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen because it's like it's perforated and you can get it out super because like okay spiral bounds I love them because like you can tear out the pages and then you just like take out the little excess part from in the spirals and then like it works super well but you can't DIY spiral bounds or at least I can't because I'm super particular about making sure that all of the notebook is covered with paint and you can't paint underneath the spiral so it makes, drives me nuts so I prefer to DIY composition books but when you tear pages out of composition books then you have the pages on the other side that you have to do something with and it just doesn't work so these are like composition books and spiral bound crossovers that are perfect for DIYing and I love them so much <laughs> that was a weird <laughs> rant I have like these three plain ones and then I DIY three of them um let's show them to you in order of so I have this one that I'm going to be using for math, and it's just marble. And I'm also going to be releasing a video on how I DIY these, like, really soon. I'm going to do, like, the last summer video, and then the DIY notebook video, I think. So keep your eyes open for that if you like how these were done. Um, so this is my marbled math notebook, and I think it's super cute. I like how it turned out. Though it does smell like shaving cream and it's driving me nuts and I did like this really bad layer of paint underneath it so it's super wrinkly but math is a class that I'm taking at home or I'm doing at home so it doesn't really matter that much so it's cool you know. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Let's do this one next. So then I have this like hanging Polaroid painted one I don't even know. Um, but I just basically painted the background white and then I did like some little splotches and then like I cut out these pictures of Disney princesses to look like Polaroids and I thought they were super cute because I'm obsessed with Disney and so I have like these three down here that don't have quotes on them and then I have these three up here and it's like she was a princess worth waiting for and that's from Tangled and then there's a picture of Mulan and it's believe you can then you will I don't think that's actually a quote from Mulan. I could be wrong, but I don't remember hearing that as a quote. But I just thought that was super inspirational. And then, come what may, I know the way, because, I mean, Moana. And then down here we just have Ariel and Anna and Elsa and a super cute, like, pastel picture of, um... Oh, why can't I remember? Arendelle is Anna and Elsa. I can't remember what... Rapunzel's Kingdom is called. This is depressing. But anyway, I have a cute little picture of that. And I don't know, I just love how this notebook turned out. I think I'm going to use this for literature or something. Because stories, or maybe writing, I haven't decided yet. I'm really conflicted. But I'll definitely use this for something because I love it. Finally, I have my biology notebook. And this is literally just a bunch of doodles and it's super busy. But I love how busy it is because when I'm bored I like to look at stuff. And like it's kind of the alternative to fidgeting but like fidgeting with your eyes. So I just covered this thing with doodles and I can't stop staring at it. It's really bad. I love how this turned out honestly. Excuse me while I stare at my notebook. That's my last notebook. So I have six notebooks. And then I also have six folders. I have, ooh, do I show you the bad ones or the good ones first? I'm gonna show you the bad ones first because I love some the three of these folders. These are my three spare folders and they're just like candy pictures because candy is really good. And they're covered in glitter. And so I thought they were kind of cute. Some were cuter than others, I must admit. Specifically this one, this one was very cute. I'm not so fond of this one, but yeah, I figured I'd need some backup folders because I didn't know which folder or what folders I need for which classes. So I just got six folders to match my six notebooks. And yeah, I love how I'm turning everything into a monologue. I've gotten into a really chatty mood. The last thing in my backpack are, is these other three folders, and I'm so obsessed with these. They are so cute. I love them so much. It's 
oh, I can't even describe to you. So this first one has like flowers on it and it's all silvery and it says life is pretty good and it's just so cute and I love it. And then this next one is like the same kind of scheme and it's like make today amazing and the same silvery stuff. And then my last one, this is my favorite and I love it, is Find Joy in the Ordinary and it's like this dark bluish color and it's so cute and I love them and these are literally going to be my favorite folders all year and I can't wait to use them and I love them so much. I think that is it for my back to school haul. Thank you guys so much for watching my school supplies excitedness. Comment down below if you love school supplies as much as I do because school supplies are amazing. So if we can get this video to 30 thumbs up, I would be delighted. And please, if you enjoyed this video or if you like school supplies or going back to school or anything that I do, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, it would be amazing if we could reach 100 subscribers by the end of August. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I would love it so much if we could. So please, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and help me out. Help me reach my goal. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Why do I always do this with my arms at the end? I'm like, bye. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Let's see. What other move can I do? Bye guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's really creepy. <laughs> Why can't I come up with a good closing? Because this is so unoriginal, but I do it every video. So maybe that's just like my unoriginal, original closing. That's what I'm going with.